Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is more about a little bit of education on helping us out as developers for Auto Legends to figure out what issues you are running into as far as game bugs and glitches in Auto Legends and how to properly submit them to us. So if you are over on the Discord, for example, there is a help section that I will show you real quick that I realize you can't see. <laughs> uh, there's this help section on the Discord, on, on the Auto Legends Discord. If you go to need help, there is this button called create ticket. If you click that button, it'll help you make a ticket, which then goes to our ticket section here. And we can basically look it over and you know see your error, talk to just you, Think of it like direct messages, but directly on the Discord, and any of the Auto Legend staff, uh, any of the moderators, um, myself included, can basically see what's in these tickets, and we can better assist you from there. Now, what I want to do is teach you how to properly submit a ticket. So, first of all, when you are in-game, you basically have access to what's called a debug log. These debug log files... Uh, can help us immensely with what's going on with your account, what's going on with the game, tell us why such and such is happening. Where is, or how do you access that file or access that log? Well, if you see this keyboard image right here, there is this button with the green line underneath it next to the number one on the keyboard. That is called the tilde key. That key opens up this thing called a debug log, which you can see right here. And this will let you see pretty much anything that's going on in your game. The white is just kind of like notation of, okay, it's trying to do this right now. The yellow is like warnings. And red is straight up errors. So let's say you're somebody with that 418 error that's been kind of happening to a lot of people. If you open up your debug log, you might see a bunch of red errors. And you can click these, by the way, to make them visible or invisible. You can click this to drag and drop it, or drag it and make it bigger if you need to. You can basically just see, you know, your little errors, or the 401 error, it'll tell you why it's doing it. Stuff of that nature. But you can also even click it to get more information. So let's see, uh, local util, get local string, unable to find localization. I want more info about that, let's say. If I click it... It gives me all this info and a copy button. Now, when you are on the Discord and you click this create a ticket, it'll basically create this ticket and you can put all your info in here. You can put screenshots. You can put, uh, when you copy and paste this, um, give me one sec. When you make this ticket, there's a couple of different things on Discord for... Uh, basic use of making things more legible, more readable. If you use that exact same key, that tilde key, which is not showing up now because of this, you take that exact same key and you type it three times and then hit enter on your keyboard, you can take stuff and put it in here and it creates what's called a code box. Then hit it three more times and that closes your code box. It's the same idea as doing like bold letters. You can do bold, you can do italic, you can do underline, I think it's three. No, it's not. Uh, three is bold and italic, okay. There is a way to do underline, I don't remember what it is, but not really a big deal. And also, if you want to post an image, let's say, you can very easily just use on Windows, for example, we have snipping tool. Depending on what version of Windows you're on, you know, once the snipping tool opens, you can just control C on your keyboard and that copies the image and then control V and it pastes it to your ticket message. If you don't have the snipping tool when you open up your Windows thing, I'm on Windows 11 and I type snipping. Um, if you don't have that, you can also just use what's called print screen on your keyboard. So if you hit print screen on your keyboard, it gives you a whole bunch of options also. You can do the rectangle drag and drop to do a specific size. You can do specific window, full screen, free form. You can also actually record videos with snipping tool uh, with the print screen key 
there's a whole bunch of cool things you can do with it. And then from there, you know, just explaining what I did. Because something that is very helpful is what we call reproduction steps. So when we're creating a ticket on the inside in our tool called Jira, we do repro steps. And some of these are going to seem a little bit redundant, but they are immensely helpful. You do launch game on version 7.2 public epic game store build. Now, obviously, you as a public person is always going to be on the epic game store build. That's never going to change for you. Then you do from garage, go to main map, then speed lab. Let's say you have a bug in speed lab with car parts. With Civic VX. It's specific, you want to name the car, you want to name where, you want to name how you got there, etc. etc. Go to performance button, then tires. Install radial tires. You want to say everything you're doing in instant install after purchase with gold. You just want to spell things out like you were talking to a five-year-old. I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds redundant. But it is incredibly helpful. Incredibly helpful. And then from there, you know, just say, uh, I messed with... Uh, then go to tuning, stance, then stance, and... Use these settings, ride height, whatever, amber stance, or uh, whatever it is. I don't remember what it is in the game. Number, uh, you know, fill it out. Give us all the nitty gritty details. If your car has custom parts on it as well, or third party parts, or aftermarket parts, whatever you want to call them, you also want to li list your car build, even if it's just. The 100 shot of NOS. List it all. Also, what is very helpful is in game name because then we can pull up your account directly on the back end. We can literally just search it. You told us exactly which car it is. And, you know, expected result. I feel. This should have happened. Current result. This actually happened. And then just sum it up. Almost like you're typing an essay. That way we have the data log. We have a screenshot of what you're looking at. Or you can even provide us a video of an unlisted video through YouTube or streamable. You know, you can highlight stuff in bold and italic. You give us the repro steps of exactly what you did. You give us your in-game name, say exactly which car has the bug, if it's a car-specific bug, or, you know, you give us your account info, and that tells us, hey, this is, you know, my info for this account. This is what's happening on this account. This is what I expected to happen. This is what I actually happened. Is this right? And then we have all this info here in this ticket. This helps us so much. You don't even understand. That's basically just the proper way to submit a ticket. And, you know, I feel like this would help us immensely if you guys could actually follow these steps. I really think that it would help make things a lot faster as far as, uh, you know, fixing bugs, getting them to the devs. That way, if I see your repro steps... I can go in, I can do those exact same steps on our future builds. Because to be completely honest, the stuff that's on the Epic Game Store is a build that's maybe a week older than what I have access to. It could be two weeks older than something I have access to. So I want to try your reproduction steps on our private builds of the game that have updates and code changes and this and that to make sure they still occur before I tell a developer about them. But... That's realistically what I wanted to teach you guys today. Oh, I forgot about that. You can also do strike through. You can do all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I forgot it'll give you the buttons if you highlight. That's useful to know too. But anyway, I hope this guy 
this helps you guys with submitting bugs for us on Auto Legends. This is going to be probably the best way forward if you guys want to help us out. And go from there. So we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.